Okay, so this is the Coda 1.2, which is the cheapest laptop I could find. Uh, it was from TikTok at $69.99, brand new. And it's actually very impressive for the price, but it is a very low powered laptop to run Windows. Uh, it came with Windows 10. Let's just skip into screen capture. I upgraded or changed it to Windows 11, and I've got a separate video on it here using Rufus, uh, because this is an unsupported device for Windows 11. I then put Chrome OS Flex on it, which was probably one of the best ones for a beginner operating system, ran really, really well. Uh, I've also put Kubuntu on it, which is Linux, and I've also done some gaming on it as well if you're interested in gaming. I've currently got MX Linux on it, which I really like. I really like the customization. Uh, it's very snappy. Uh, it's a really good, solid operating system. But I'm going back to Windows uh, because I read this story the other day on Tech Radar. Tiny 11 is out promising to be Windows 11 without steep hardware requirements. Now quite a lot of people are kind of being a bit cagey about whether this is something to be trusted, but I thought I'd just give it a try and see what it's like. So I'm not necessarily recommending it, but uh, it looks like it's pretty impressive. It's made by NTDev and there's an ISO which you can download on archive.org. There's quite a few tutorials on this, uh, this operating system. But essentially, if you can get a hold of that ISO, which I'm not going to put a link in the description because I'm not entirely sure whether uh, Microsoft would like me linking to it. So I've added the ISO to Rufus on this USB stick. I'm going to unplug the second monitor because I've installed operating systems with a second monitor in before and it can cause problems. So I just want it to be a default laptop. So let's shut it down and switch it on and keep pressing F7 for the boot menu. So now I can choose my Oracle drive. So setup is starting, looks like normal Windows 11. And we can see we've got language to install. So we've only got United States. And I can choose English United Kingdom, so let's do that. And next. So all of this is pretty standard. Okay, so that went nice and smoothly, and uh, Windows 11 installed just as it would normally do. Uh, I put Task Manager on just to have a look. You can see the CPU is maxed out at the moment, but other times you can look at it and it'll be 1 or 2%. Not quite sure why it's 100% and running at 2.9 gigahertz. Uh, you can see the memory usage is 2.2. If I compare it to my Melee Mini PC, which has got loads of programs on it, you can see it's 2% and running at 1.6 gigahertz, but it goes a lot higher than that. Um, but this isn't really a fair comparison because there have been times when I've tried to do this and the Melee is running much higher than the laptop. So yeah, it's not really a, a true test. Processes, you can see 139 running at the moment, exactly the same on the Melee Mini PC, but sometimes I do this and processes are higher and you can see it went up to 141 now. So Task Manager doesn't really help us in this as a fair comparison. I think the, the fair way is just to play around with it and just see how it runs. So let's go into screen capture. So I've been playing around with it and it does feel pretty snappy, but let's just launch some programs. So Microsoft Store, then we're gonna launch Photos and just, just basically go through and open a few things up and see how well it copes. Obviously not too many of these use too many resources. There's no web browser on here at the moment, so I can install one of those in a minute. And so paint, that will do. So if I press Windows and Tab, that should show everything that's up and running, and I should be able to switch between things. So say for instance, I switch to paint, and then press Windows and Tab, and switch to another. I think it feels more snappy. Uh, so that's calculator, and then go into settings, and you can see that all this is scrolling around and moving pretty well. Windows tab, and uh, oh, well, I haven't got any photos, so there's not too much point in going to that, but it's definitely switching between apps quite well. Let's install the Chrome browser. Can you get Chrome on the Microsoft Store? I bet you can't, can you? Uh, let's go, oh, so it comes up with Edge anyway. Let's install Edge and see what happens with that. That obviously slowed down a little bit. Let's hit install. Is it going to do anything? Yeah, I have press install. So Windows and Tab to just show everything that's running. See if the notepad is uh, is not slowing down. Yeah, to be fair, uh, it does feel all right. It feels like it's pretty snappy. It's nice to use. If I go into Task Manager, you can see 100% running. And uh, we've got three gig of memory at the moment. Obviously, if we get a browser on that, 
that's going to change everything because browsers do tend to use quite a lot of memory. Uh, so this is still installing. Did we get a progress on this? No. We just, oh yeah, we got the wheel turning. If we go into this PC and see how much space, uh, it uses a tiny amount. So you can see here, 43.7 gig free of 56.8. So what we're looking at about 13 gig. That's pretty reasonable for a Windows 11 install. Right, so let's close that down, Windows tab. Let's go back to the store. It does feel perfectly usable. So I've cut a massive chunk out because it seems to have been installing for ages. Uh, I don't know why it's taking quite so long, but let's close all these other bits down. And uh, yeah, don't save anything. Don't save. I mean, all this feels absolutely fine. But it is taking ages to do the inter. Oh, what have we got a message up here? Like, oh, do you want to allow this app? That's probably why I wasn't doing it. But I don't think that pop up came up. But then I was messing around with the system, so uh, that could be the reason it was taking ages. And is it installing quicker now? Or we've got something else here. Oh yeah, so it's downloading. I'll come back when that's done. Okay, so the browser is just installed, and it looks like it's launching. And let's go Hot UK Deals. Let's open another tab and do BBC. Let's go back and launch this one. Browser feels snappy. Uh, BBC News. And then let's do something else here. So let's say YouTube. And we'll go with Microsoft as we're on a Windows computer. And let's go back to Hot UK Deals and remember this is a really low end old Celeron processor. Scrolling seems to be quite reasonable. BBC News, let's load that up. Uh, I do these because they'll have lots of images and things. I can close down a few of these. Oh, I suppose I probably should leave them open. YouTube. And let's see, while it's doing all that, see if it's going to be able to play a video. It's slowed down a bit now, but you can see it is still loading some of the other pages. And let's do a search, leave PSP video HDR, and just play a little bit of this video. It never comes up as the top video for some reason. Uh, but it does show some of my other videos, so I'm, got I'm not too about that. All the times right, it could have happened, it happened on a little Super Bowl bit, Sunday. and let's <laughs> skip that. I'll just mute it so I'm not talking over the sound. And let's go with... Oh, I think it feels pretty snappy. I, I'm actually quite pleased with how it feels. Uh, for running Windows 11 on this really low-end laptop, let's do stats for nerds, and see if we're dropping frames. We aren't dropping frames, look. Well, we're dropping a few, but very, very few. It's coping with that and it's running at 1080. So let's hit escape. Let's go back to some of these websites and uh, let's just launch a few of the things on there, a few of the stories. And actually let's do BBC Sport. Where is it, Sport? And just pick a story from that. And then go back to this. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to play around with it anyway. And uh, maybe I'll leave a comment after using it for a few days or something. Because I've literally just installed this and launched it and played around with it a tiny bit. But so far, so good. It actually does feel really snappy and very usable. Okay, so I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.